Hello, welcome to another repair to say today we have again a laptop, a median key Akoya um P6402 2017 with uh, not so bad hardware core i3 yeah nothing special but not complete rubbish um which is when connecting to power cpu gets very hot um i didn't want to first in the first place try to repair this because you could see from the other side here we have the heating cooling assembly the chopper thing um, and it was getting very hot and then said to my self conclusion yeah it's a shorted cpu a dead cpu so why bother in repairing it but um, then i got my new toy my flare cam then i spotted that the heat is going somewhere else um i haven't done anything i just disassembled it and yeah so let's have it look under the microscope you see some signs of heat so i hope you can see it well yeah nice so well cpu gets hot uh, then we have a line which i don't know where it belongs but it's probably a 19 volt rail those are my tweezers so where is it this line here this fat line this is getting very hot you could see that under the flare cam uh, without the cam you just see a hot cpu and running a cooling assembly and if we follow this pet you can also see here that this is darker than these two lines so which means this coloration here it gets even worse this coloration means there's a huge heating problem which goes over to here and here it seems to be normal again so yeah we'll put some alcohol on this place space and see if anything gets hot connect the power we'll see what's happening which is a little bit over this oh that's a major discoloration yeah okay plug the power Things happening here. It goes into here. Come on. Some more alcohol. See that? Okay, let's make some measurements. Diode mode. Probe on ground. Open. Good. This is the lane, which is nearly 0 0.001. Um, this goes underneath here. And here going here to this thing I don't know if we should isolate it we have these jumpers here in the middle
This chip seems to get hot. I don't think it's going here, is it? It's probably ground. That's good. So this seems to be connected. Of course it is. Okay, now we're going here on this side through this coil. Um, we're going to lift up this coil and see if we have any changes. Good way to diagnose. So, now we did isolate this from these chips, whatever they do. Um, short, short is still here. And still here. So, okay. Um, that's a bit weird. Are we still connected? Yes, we are. Just a tiny bit. Lift it up. Okay, no short. On this side. could isolate it further so here we have some capacitors and maybe going somewhere else i'm gonna wick this jumper away just to see and isolate the problem This clean. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. What's the jumper for? If it's still giving me. Well, we have still a little connection here. Let's lose a bit, a bit of like serene now. Try this again. Okay, now we're good. Yeah. Okay. This line, which is the second thicker row here, is not the problem. So our problem is here. We could go back, but I'm gonna turn around and see. Would like to see which these two through holes are going to. But it looks like they're going nowhere. Let's try to measure this. Okay. 2.4 centimeters and 5.7 
here let's scratch the surface a little bit just to be sure Should be the problem here. Problem not going on this side. Okay. So have a quick look, we're still getting out here in this lane. Zero point zero zero one so to through this resistor and probably right into the CPU as I thought um, of course and right under the CPU Well, that's a story, I guess. I wasn't really sure, but now I am very sure. So if go on the, if we go, maybe we're going somewhere here. I don't think so. Thank you. 
0 0.06, which is okay. 0 0.02, which is a little bit more than anything else. This was the first step I did. I did isolate these two ones. So the short is on this side we have 0 0.02. But here on this side they got 0 0.01. So here on that big resistor. What else can we do? Nothing. CPU is getting hot, even if not. I don't know how this happened. That we probably did boost our 19 volts right into the CPU. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to put these things here back quickly. Jumper one. Doesn't have to be nice. If it's dead, it doesn't have to be nice. Ugly. And make it nice, take some flux. Anything else here? Nope. So we did isolate the problem here, so we know this is not the issue. Let's go back to the things here. I mean, we can check again, but let's do it again. In a couple of weeks, days. Okay, multimeter did fall asleep. Nothing has changed. We're going right into the CPO with 0 0.02 amps. Ah, that mode reading. So there's nothing else that we can do here. And then we can have a look at the CPU if it helps. Yeah. 
Let's take out that upper. We don't need a cooling fan. Oh my god. Sprint liquid again. It's also I don't know what you're using. Same kind of liquid I saw on the last PlayStation 4. Hmm. Looks a bit strange. Probably we have a shorted sub bridge which is integrated in this short sub bridge. Yeah. That looks quite messy. Let's take a cleaning cloth. see anything here. No signs here. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna stop this video. Okay, this is going to be a no fix. This machine is five year old and did cost maybe 300 euros when it was your new 350, probably not more. Uh, anyway, uh, well, you have a shorted CPU. If you have the right tools, you can try to desolder it and reball it uh, if it is okay and just uh, shorted pins. But I think that's an internal short and everything is not nice. We can have some measurements. What I'm interested in, how much voltage did this thing get here? Well, we can measure that. <laughs> Nothing. 2.6 volts. That's so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a bright CPU. 2.6 volts is too much. Uh, CPU voltage is most of the time 1 volts, maybe even less, 0 0.8. I don't know exactly, depends on the machine, uh, but 2.6 is definitely too much for the CPU. So, we can take out the RAM. 
Maybe this is something we should do at the first place. But I don't think that we have a shorted run. This whole board gets completely hot, mad hot in a very short time. I mean, maybe we have some broken caps on the other side. It can also be. I don't think so. Let's try this again. But this is really the end, my friend. This CPU gets this mad hot. It's going right everywhere. Nothing's happening on this side. I need to go a little bit further here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's take the measurements just for the hell of it. Maybe it's just a short cap. Zero point zero five should be not so bad. Not the issue. Here we have absolutely zero, zero. I mean, it could be a shorted cap, which I absolutely disagree. No, it's not going from the cap. It's starting here on this point. Come on, where are we? cap which is a bit discolorated I mean we can take it off but I'm sure I'm not going to do anything Of course not. Of course not. So we're going to zero point one. Two. Take this cap off also. But as I say, this is going to be a rabbit hole. This is not going to help. The thing here is we have already pushed 
Да. The limits which CPU can handle, so yeah. Almost three volts. There's no way. Whoops. Yet. Yeah, let's put some cluster map data into this. Okay, and that's it. That's a median laptop with a dead CPU. North bridge, south bridge, sandwich, garbage. Um, yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, well, as I said, in this case, if you open up the back side, let me show you that. Put it back in as it belongs. We can. Can I? Something like this here. No, completely wrong. Um, here we go. So. Here we have the cooling fan. Um, these two caps you could measure it with zero, zero, 001 uh, in diode mode, so there's no need to take this whole thing apart. But as I said, we had a line here which is going away from the CPU, which could cause the issue. But if you put power this on and check the voltage, on this CPU lane then could have known nonetheless 2.6 is maybe too much and this kind of heat generation which is weird yeah okay I'm gonna stop the video with a little bit of a heat spot Let's turn this, let's fry this machine one more last time. But anyway, um, yeah. So you can see everything. Can you? No, you can't. So let's move over here. This. No, you still can't. Okay, let's turn it around like this. Could you please focus on my thermal camera? Okay, here we are. Ready? Nice, isn't that nice? One more time. Hundred twenty degrees, hundred thirty. That's a bummer. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.